Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So after long awaited two and a half months of a back order, I finally received my Samsung exhaust. Sticking to the old theme, old chrome, uh, look for my heritage classic. The look could not be complete without a true dual fishtails. So without wasting too much time, let's get it unboxed and let's get it put on the bike. All right, so exhaust comes in two boxes. All right, so this looks like a crossover pipe. Another pipe, we'll figure them out as we go along. Chrome heat shield. Another chrome heat shield. The finish on the shields is very, very nice. Looks like a front pipe. And another super long heat shield. The packing is done very well, so um, looks like there hasn't been any damage on anything. You can see there's a little nice engraving here by Samson. Two brackets. figure out which side is which and I'll do the install. Okay. All right. And we have a bunch of clamps, the hardware and the, and the instruction. Let me clean this up and I'll open the second box. All right, box number two. Some hardware. And a second fish down. Bunch of clamps and hardware, heat shields, another heat shield, the back pipe, front pipe, crossover it looks like, and two fishtails. By the way, these are 33s that I ordered, so I didn't want them to come out too, too far back. All right, let's get uh, the stock exhaust taken off and the new one installed. 
One thing I wanted to show you guys uh, really quickly. Uh, these do come with uh, baffles and I'm going to keep the baffles in. Um, and this is the bolt that keeps the baffles in. Probably not going to be able to focus in to see it inside, but that's the baffle and it's right around here. Uh, and the fishtails are removable, which is great. So if you ever scrape them and you want to get them replaced, two bolts, fishtail comes out and uh, put new fishtails on. All right. So in order to save some time, I did took the liberty and took the, uh, the bags off already. They will get in the way of the install on both sides. So do take them off first uh, before you start removing the mufflers and the pipes. The exhaust is off. Uh, let's get the brackets installed on both sides. It's gonna be a little interesting. Uh, I gotta figure this thing out and the manual doesn't say anything about it but obviously I removed the bags and uh, as you know on, on, on the heritage bags there are two mounts here and then there's a, a, a bushing here where there's a supporting arm kind of fits in. So I had to remove the stock bracket and in its place, uh, the new bracket will go in. Well, there's no, I don't see any mount points for the, for the bushing, for the supporting arm. Um, so I'll have to <laughs> see, see what's going on, whether they sent me a, uh, a wrong mount or something else is missing or I'm missing something. Uh, anyway, so I'll get this installed. On the other side, the mount uh, is actually going underneath the, uh, the back guards um, could potentially be a similar issue with with the bushing. So we'll uh, we'll look at it when we get to that. All right. So let's get these installed, and then we'll uh, we'll start mounting the oxygen sensors and um, and the brackets on uh, on the new exhaust.
Hey right, guys, so I had to stop and show you this. Uh, so this is the bracket. This is the new bracket that comes uh, with the exhaust, right? Um, it comes with two new bolts, just like this and washers. But I'm reusing the bolt that came with uh, the back guard, uh, just to match this. This just won't go in this place, right? Uh, but uh, the main point I'm trying to uh, show you here is this is the bushing for the bag support, right? So basically what you have to do is this is the bracket that it mounts to. Uh, and that's kind of basically how it sits on the bike right here. Let me see if I can focus. Anyway, so... Right, um, you will notice that there are sort of these grooves right here. That's the back of this uh, washer, I mean, uh, bushing. Um, it has like two little notches. I had to remove those notches. There is a hole in the bracket where this bushing goes into, but it won't fit unless you move those, uh, remove those, uh, Notches. I mean, not a big deal. Just take uh, the exacto knife and just uh, get that removed, and it fits in. It does have a little bit of place, so it moves up and down, so you can adjust it. Once everything's on, uh, I did. I just did a test fit for the bag, and it fits fine. Not an issue. Um, you may have to play a, lot, a little bit around uh, how high or how low uh, this uh, this bushing has to sit. Okay. Otherwise. Not an issue on the side. All right, now let's get the uh, oxygen sensors removed and the, the brackets removed from the stock exhaust and put on the new one. The new exhaust comes with this uh, separator bracket and uh, two bolts and washers. They go right here um, and, uh, well, explains it's a separator, so it separates the two pipes, but yet kind of holding them close so they don't touch each other. Okay. The brackets are on. Uh, the O2 sensors are on. Uh, let's start putting everything on the, on, on the bike. Alright guys, uh, the pipes, the cross pipe are loosely installed, let's get the mufflers on, wipe it down and then uh, get the heat shields, heat shields on.
get it ready for the Alright guys, the exhaust is on, the moment of truth, let's get it started. All right guys, so the exhaust sounds pretty good. At least I like it. Uh, typical what you would expect from Samson. Now, as far as the install goes, uh, you know, I, as I said in the beginning, I did have to take the bags off. Uh, you have to take them off, obviously, because you do have to remove the bracket, uh, the mounting bracket for the bag uh, on the left side. On the right side, obviously, you have to remove the entire mount uh, where the exhaust goes, which includes the, uh, the bushing that for, for the uh, uh, ride bag support, which brings us to a little bit of a issue. I'm not really sure if it's an issue yet. Um, I'm going to have to get in touch with uh, Samson to see what the solution is. I think I may know what the solution is. The left bracket includes a, uh, a hole where I mounted this, uh, this bushing and uh, it, it works. Fine, uh, everything fits exactly as, as they thought it would. Uh, now for the right side, this side here, um, there is no place to mount this thing. However, I think I can repurpose this bracket from the left side to go on the right side and uh, this should work. Which means I actually have to unbolt uh, the rear cylinder pipe uh, to get this thing installed, which I'll do at another time. Uh, so, I'll try this first. So it's it is Sunday, so obviously you know they're they're not open today. But if this works great, regardless, I'm gonna try to get in touch with Samson uh, tomorrow and uh, figure this out. See if there's something that was missing, or uh, or if this is exactly how it's supposed to work. So I'll do another video at some point and I'll do an update. But otherwise, the exhaust fitment is uh, really good. As far as the adjustment because it's a true dual and it runs under the bike and off to the left um, you just you do have to uh, like I said mount everything loosely get it aligned uh, make sure 
both exhausts, you know, hang at the right height. Sometimes, you know, they could be one's higher, one, one's lower. So you have to play around with that a little bit. Same thing goes forward and back. There, there is a little bit of wiggle room uh, because the, the rears are slip-ons. So basically just, you know, get the bike up straight and try to figure out, obviously if you have another person with you, it makes things a little easier. You know, four eyes are better than two. Uh, and that's it. So um, all in all, I'm pretty happy with the exhaust. It definitely completes the look uh, that I'm going for. Hopefully I'll, I'll resolve this uh, mounting uh, of the right side back today or tomorrow. And uh, at some point, like I said, I'll, I'll do an update video. Now in the meantime, obviously the bike uh, looks exactly like a deluxe, so it's not a bad thing. Uh, I don't really use bags day to day, so it, it's again, it's not an issue like I need the bags tomorrow or, or whatever for my next trip, so I'll get that figured out. So this will do it for today. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Hopefully this video was useful for some of you. Uh, I know I searched around. I haven't seen many uh, Samson uh, exhaust installs, particularly on the Softail M8 model. So I figured I'll do this. And uh, like I said, hopefully this is useful to some of you. If you liked the video, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys soon. Take care.